Hello and welcome to a new episode of Airport CEO here on Bongo Planes, where our main goal of the day is to have some aircrafts coming in. We want to open the airport and at least have a decent test run. But before we get too far into the episode, if you should end up enjoying this video, then don't forget to smash the like button, that really helps us out. And of course, if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? Now, we have done a few things off camera uh, between the episodes uh, just to make sure that we would be able to achieve our goal today. As you can see, we already have a tower now. We've also had to change a little bit the setup over here at our um, uh, Air Force terminal. And a little warning as well is that um, there are some issues with the game at the moment. I think we are kind of in a transition phase when it comes to the game development. And that means there are a few things that are bugging out a little bit that might hinder our progress a little bit. But I'm fairly sure, I mean, when we look at the track record of the uh, developers, they seem to be quite good at catching up with all sorts of issues the game might have. So I'm fairly confident that um, any issues we might have in this video will probably be solved fairly soon. We don't know exactly when, but there might be a good chance that they will all be solved by the time we have the next episode. But we will see. Anyway, we will press on with our development of this airport because any issues that we have with the game, as I say, will most likely be solved uh, very shortly. Another little thing I've done off camera is actually add a second floor to our terminal building here and I'm trying to establish a little bit of a lounge area and in the future probably also making some offices um, but uh, that is of course something we will then do on camera in future episodes. Now one thing we need to uh, make sure for the uh, operation of the airport is that we have all the equipment that we need. We have already purchased a lot of equipment but one of the things that um, of course have come with the uh, wide body update is of course also some new equipment. You need larger pullback trucks, for, uh, pullback, pushback truck, <laughs> pushback trucks, very difficult word apparently. Um, if we get in a wide body aircraft uh, also, what I found out is that you have, of course, um, which we actually have had for quite a long time, um, you have different fuel trucks. You have kind of the small fuel trucks and then you have uh, larger fuel trucks. And I never really saw or I never thought there was a difference to them. But um, I did a test run with uh, the wide body update in a different safe just to try out some features. And what I saw there was basically when you tried to um, refuel a wide body aircraft with the small fuel trucks, it would simply take forever. I mean, uh, a turnaround with the wide body aircraft would probably, I think in the game, is estimated to be like two, three or four hours-ish. And the aircraft would just not leave. They would stand, they would be in their stand for half a day and they would still not be nearly fully refueled. So as soon as I then bought a, a large fuel truck and added that the refueling was rapid um i i could uh, I, I would understand that it is because the smaller fuel trucks would run out of fuel and would have to go back to the depot to um, refill but that was not the case it was just the 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 time they needed to fuel the aircraft was really 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 long so um, yeah, if you have wide body aircraft at your airport, make sure that you have the large fuel trucks and make sure that those are the trucks that are going to your stand where you have your wide body aircraft because otherwise you will have massive issues. So that is uh, one thing of course that we um, really need to make sure that we have. Also we need to now make sure that everything is connected up. Right now I'm just, I don't think I have any other um, vehicle depots at the airport other than the three that we have here um, but i'm assigning these vehicles here to the depot and i'm also trying to assign some of the vehicles at least uh, to the specific stands and i'm doing that again to make sure that for example the large pushback truck will be assigned to the wide body stand i don't think a small uh, pushback truck would go to the uh, wide body stand but in any case we would be sure that they're is a pushback truck that will always be close to that stand which is also important because most of our operations will of course be on the entirely different side of the airport so i don't want to have vehicles having to go all the way over to the air force terminal which would take a long time to reach 
and would delay operations. I want to have vehicles close by um, and that are assigned to these stands so that the game doesn't have any confusions, there aren't any um, long pathways for vehicles and stuff like that. So that's all just to improve the operations once we are uh, up and running. All right, so other than getting a few more workers in, the really important thing we want to have or need to do so we can have an operational airport is we need to get some airlines in. Last episode, you guys already started suggesting airlines that we could add to the airport, which is really awesome, and keep those suggestions coming. I won't just add them for now, but I'm collecting it and we will be adding it in a future episode because for the moment we are just adding one airline and that is called Luftwaffe which is not really an airline it's the German Air Force. The only thing is uh, disappointing here I can see that it actually doesn't come with a wide body aircraft which I had assumed it would but this particular mod was also released way before the wide body update so I might have to check maybe there's a separate mod or I might need to update it um, so that's one thing I need to put on my to-do list uh, for the next episode because I would love to have, for example, the A340 in the German Air Force colors. Um, that's the whole idea why I made the white body stand uh, over here, um, other than, of course, it being realistic as we have that in real life. All right, so we still have a few administrative things to do. For example, we need to sign a contract uh, with a, a fuel um, company. We also need to um, sign a contract for the de-icing uh, because we have, will have that right away. And then I think we should be ready at least to open the airport for general aviation. So we can see if that works out. Um, which I hope it will, but uh, let's see what happens. And all right, so we already have our first uh, little visitor, this little, what is it, a Cessna or something, coming from Smolensk in Russia. All right, so our airport is now officially open. We have the first uh, general aviation operations going on. The second aircraft is also arriving, so uh, that is good. Now let's see if we can um, make it all work with the actual PAX traffic that we want to have here um, with our Air Force. So we should be all set over here. There are loads of uh, things you easily can forget. So I'm, I'm hopeful that I haven't forgotten anything, but we will very, very quickly find out if I should have forgotten something. The only thing I'm wondering right now is that... Um, I'm missing a stand here at the overview. Why do I miss a stand? Uh, so this is now, I didn't, <laughs> okay. I didn't switch it on and now we have it. Right, okay. So we just need to pick a flight and see, yeah, if that will work. Of course, we need to go to the next day. And um, now we have to wait a little bit to see what will go on when that arrives. Hopefully everything will work. Hopefully the, um, the game will be kind to us and um, everything will just run smoothly. We will see in a second. But while we are waiting for our first aircraft to arrive, let's be a little bit productive and add some lighting here to our land side area because it's really, really dark there. And uh, of course, we are expecting some people to arrive here, hopefully at least, for the first flight. So let's welcome them at least with some lighting. All right, so we are getting closer to the arrival of the aircraft, but there's still no people over here. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering where they might be. And they, this is odd. Um, is there something wrong with our tunnels? They seem to go in here and um, what's then happening? This is a bit strange. I mean, we know that passengers sometimes arrive at see we just see there <laughs> they arrive of course in a completely diff, uh, different area and that's just because the game doesn't understand that you could have multiple terminals and stuff like that for the for the game everything is just one big uh, building basically and that is why off camera i made a tunnel system connecting all the different terminals with each other so people can actually um, walk to the correct terminal where they need to depart from. Uh, oh, our aircraft has arrived. Our first aircraft has arrived. Where are you there? An A319. <laughs> 
and with the little special edition from the developers with <laughs> a Christmas hat. Um, interesting. I, I guess that will probably not be in the game for the next episode. I would assume they will have updated that by then. Um, because that will be out of the Christmas aim. I mean, even that is recorded after Christmas, the gameplay here, but it's still there. But okay, it, it's all right. Um, so passengers are arriving. That's good. Um, so they are leaving the aircraft. I am a little bit concerned that no one seems to have arrived here at the terminal yet to get on the aircraft. Uh, so... And of course, I forgot to connect all the check-in counters, which might explain that. Uh, because I guess then they don't know where to go. Maybe? We might have messed that up a little bit. This is what I mean with there's loads of things you need to remember. Uh, and you can get aircraft in even though things are not uh, done yet. Um, at least the ground service equipment seems to be at the aircraft although they seem not to do anything why are they not offloading the aircraft ha huh. so we do have a few more issues this is why i really like to do some test runs because you can sort out all the things and i i'm i'm really bad at memorizing uh, stuff i always forget something uh yeah but we do we do have we should have plenty of staff, yeah. We have more than enough staff to handle one aircraft. Or mods of aircraft, for that matter. But there is something... They have also changed this a little bit in the last update. This is looking a bit different than it used to. But um, why are they not offloading... The equipment is there, so why are they not offloading the, the aircraft? And there's uh, still no one there to get on the aircraft. And it would be the first time ever that I would have an aircraft leaving without any passengers. I mean, not that I haven't sent it away, but it would be the first time that no one wanted to go on that flight. Um, general Aviation seems to be running fine. No issues there. But we do have an issue here. And the question is what it is. So the passengers are waiting for their luggage which is not being offloaded why is it not being offloaded i mean i have staff of what are you doing there a passenger why are you running around on what <laughs> what's going on why is that passenger uh okay he just crossed the walls so he must and that's the tunnel that i created and now it's ah, okay so they hmm. it's clearly something glitching out here because this passenger just hmm. he was clearly following the tunnel that i have created but he was displayed as walking around on ground floor or ground level which makes no sense but okay that's just a little glitch so we have a lot of people walking around here I'm just checking now if so what i'm checking for here is basically if this flight has been scheduled on any of the checking counters over at terminal one and it doesn't seem to be the case um i mean the aircraft should have been leaving a long time ago let's get another one in just to see now that we have actually attached all the counters we have over here at our air force terminal just to see so when we're sending this away uh, because I don't think we can salvage this one anymore, uh, which is okay. It doesn't matter. We're going over here to the de-icing. Ah, which I didn't. Uh, ah, damn. Okay, I only. I think I only bought two de-icing trucks because I was only thinking of de-icing the um, general aviation. But of course, I forgot. Well, it left. And there's a truck going over there now. A DIC. I wonder if they have changed that, that uh, an aircraft is only waiting for a certain amount of time for the icing, and if nothing happens, it just leaves, because it just did that. Well, anyway, we have another aircraft coming in, an A321, I can see, also with a lovely little Christmas hat. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. So we have all the check-in desks 
a sign now, so... So I'm receiving money, but no one is leaving. Why is no one leaving? Uh, what's going on here? I can see people. Okay, there must have been something with the zoning here. Interesting. Okay, so anyway, the people can now leave, so that's good. Um, let's see if we have anyone who wants to go with the aircraft for this one. And we also have an issue with security, I can see. And we have the same issue here. So they are the GSE is coming, but they don't offload. <laughs> and I have people running around. Okay, they're clearly supposed to be running around in the tunnel, but they are displayed as if they're running around on the ground floor. That's a bit weird. Um, and the tunnel has also not been fully constructed, which is a glitch because it does say that um, parts are unreachable and they're not. Because I've tried that out before I started this recording, uh, removing some parts that were displayed as non-reachable, um, then added them again and it was fine. Uh, so that's not an issue. And even parts that were shown as non-reachable were then constructed. So that's just a glitch. So, But I could see that people are actually coming over here now to check in. So that's an improvement. Uh, the question is now, after checking in, what do they do? Because apparently I don't have people at my security counter. Why don't? Why is there no one there? So now when someone's coming there now, hmm. uh, I mean, yeah, footpaths are kind of long for a wide, wide, no, quite far for workers, but I do have a staff room over here. So there should be staff over here that is able to man the station. So, but yeah, we can see now where are they going? Where are the passengers going? I still haven't manned this. Is this uh, the old glitch we also had at the last step, but we have to switch it off and on? Oh no, no, it works. Okay. So security is now there. Okay, now they're all now they're all going up. Fine. All right. I'm sorry if this is all a bit confusing, but um, I think we're fighting with two things: one that the game is glitching a little bit, and two that I'm a moron and tend to forget to activate all the things you need for smooth operations. And that is, um, yeah, giving us some issues here. Um, what is going on here? What is going on here? Um, wait, are they going in and out again? Or what are they doing? Ah, at least they're offloading the aircraft now. That's good. I mean, we're already behind schedule, but who cares? This is just a test run. Yes, delay the aircraft. Yes. Um, interesting. Interesting, interesting. So they might just have been missing a worker to offload the aircraft. But why would they take so long to go there? Hmm. I mean, the only thing is that I, I would expect operations to be much smoother at the other terminals. Um, and they don't need, they're not, it's not as, it is not as critical to get operations totally perfect over here because I, I won't have as many aircrafts coming over here. Uh, that's not the idea about it. Okay, so they're starting boarding now, quite delayed, but they do do. Hmm. <laughs> okay, nothing is really, what's going on here? Wait, have they introduced that they're actually taking time boarding the aircraft? That you have like a backlog, like in real life? Oh, that would be amazing if they've done that. Is that it? Or do I, have a, or do I just have, have an issue here? Is this just backlog from boarding the aircraft? Wait, what? Let's see. Uh... <laughs> okay, this is really strange. It does look like someone is going in, out, and then in again. And then they're actually entering the aircraft because I can see I'm making money every time one person enters. This is very strange. I have never seen that before. Okay. What about you guys? Going out, going in, and then... 
Okay, interesting. I don't think that is intentional. I think there's something... Yeah. Well, anyway, I sent the aircraft away. I couldn't be bothered to wait any longer for that. And it's gone over here to be de-iced. And it didn't wait for the de-icing truck because it's too far away. Uh, we will have to buy a few more for that. But okay, it's not a total disaster here, this test run. Um, there are clearly some issues with the game, which I'm sure will be fixed. But all in all, I would say it is still a successful test because we got two aircraft in. Um, one we had to abandon, the other one we we got loaded with at least a decent amount of passengers. Um, so I think it's encouraging for the next episode to um, try out to get more aircraft in. So on that note, it is time to end today's episode. If you have enjoyed the video, then don't forget to smash the like button. That really helps us out. If you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? With that, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.